हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर सेकेंड चैप्टर फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री नेम्ड एज इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी शेल बी कवरिंग अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मैटर वॉट आर प्योर सब्सटेंसेस एंड मिक्सचर्स द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्योर सब्सटेंसेस द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मिक्सचर्स होमोजीनियस एंड हेटरोजीनियस नाउ टू स्टार्ट अप विथ दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्शन वेन एवर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मैटर मैटर एज वी हैव स्टडीड इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑल्सो दैट मैटर इज एनीथिंग दैट हैज गॉट सम मास एंड दैट विल ऑक्यूपाई सम स्पेस now based upon matter's basic ingredient we are dividing the matter based upon their chemical properties into something called pure substances and mixtures now initially we should understand what exactly are pure substances pure substances are those substances which are made up of only one type of molecules now pure substances are basically of two types elements and compounds now you have studied about elements in your lower classes elements are the basic form of matter which cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical reactions because they are made up of the similar type of atoms now normally elements have been classified into three types metals non metals and metalloids now normally when we discuss about metals metals have got luster they are malleable and ductile they are good conductors of electricity as well as heat and they produce sound when they are being striked now some common examples of metals are iron aluminum zinc mercury copper silver gold etc now when we come down to something called non metals non metals do not have luster now they are not malleable or ductile and they are poor conductors of heat and electricity also most of them are usually present in gaseous state now they do not produce any kind of sound when they are being striked now some common example for non metals are hydrogen oxygen nitrogen iodine carbon sulfur phosphorus etc coming down to the third type of pure substance the third type of pure substance is metalloid now what are metalloids specifically metalloids are the specific type of elements that have mixture properties of metals and non metals that means they will have the properties of metals also they will have it for non metals also now common examples are boron silicon germanium they are the common examples now let us come down to something called as compounds now what are compounds compound is a substance which is composed of two or more elements that are chemically combined together in a fixed ratio so when you are combining them in a fixed ratio then they will form the compounds now very common examples are water carbon dioxide sugar salt etc now this was about your pure substance now when you come down to something called as mixtures remember one thing mixtures are specifically those type of substances which is composed of two or more elements or compounds which are mixed together now in this particular portion we have actually shown you a difference between mixture and compound so if you just see the points properly mixture is composed of two or more elements or compounds mixed together 
वेर इज कंपाउंड इज कम्पोज ऑफ टू और मोर एलिमेंट्स केमिकली कम्बाइंड टूगेदर नाउ इन केस ऑफ मिक्सचर द कॉम्पोजिशन डज नॉट हैव एनी फिक्स रेशियो वेर इज द कंपाउंड कॉम्पोजिशन इज ऑलवेज फिक्सड mixture will show the properties of the components whereas compounds will show different properties than the components the components can be separated by physical methods and whereas in case of compounds the components can be separated only by chemical methods now as you come down to this particular slide this will help you to understand the basic classification see if you just see the classification based upon physical properties we have divided matter into solids liquids and gases that we have studied in our first chapter now in our second chapter we are classifying matter based upon chemical property into pure substances and mixtures so pure substances will be classified into elements and compounds elements will be classified into metals non metals and metalloids now mixtures are being grouped into two homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture now moving across with what exactly the pure substances and mixtures have difference in between them now as we have already said that pure substances will consist of single type of substance whereas mixture will consist of two or more different types of pure substances like common examples have been given like sea water mineral soil air sand and salt sugar in water salt in water so they are different types of mixtures now if you try to find out the difference between the two that is between pure substance and mixture pure substance will consist of a single type of substance whereas mixture will comprise of two or more different types of pure substances pure substances cannot be separated by physical methods but we can separate the mixtures into its components by physical methods pure substances have their own properties mixtures will show the properties of their components now finally coming down to the classification of mixtures there are two groups of mixtures based upon their properties homogeneous and heterogeneous the word homo relates with same or uniform hetero means non uniform or different so homogeneous mixture is a mixture which has a uniform composition and the particles of the mixture cannot be seen through the naked eyes now there is always a chance that the particles can be separated by filtration method and the particles will not settle down if you keep them undisturbed now there is a property if you pass light through that particular mixture the light will not get scattered because it is completely clear inside now we will study about this in our later half this is also known as tindall effect okay tindall effect is not shown by homogeneous mixtures common examples for homogeneous mixtures are mixture of sugar in water mixture of salt in water mixture of copper sulfate in water so they are completely homogeneous in nature finally when you move across to heterogeneous mixtures so these are the mixtures which has a non uniform composition which is non uniform in nature so if it is non uniform particles are thoroughly visible with the naked eyes common example if you take mixture of salt and sand you can identify which part is salt and which part is sand and you can separate the mixture into its components by filtration now the mixture is unstable now what does it mean if you keep the mixture without disturbing for some time they will settle down at the bottom and if you pass a ray of light through that particular mixture automatically 
द पाथ ऑफ द बीम ऑफ लाइट इज विजिबल बिकॉज इट विल शो द टिंडॉल इफेक्ट अदर एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑयल एंड वाटर मिक्सचर ऑफ सल्फर एंड आयरन फिलिंग एक्सेट्रा सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी पोर्शन रिलेटिंग टू इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर इज ऑल द मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर और नॉट थैंक यू